Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. This is Claire and I have Jessica here next to me. We are product marketers from Atlassian and we're super excited to demonstrate to you how you and your team can get the most out of Confluence Cloud. Great. So for some of you that might be new to Confluence, um, I just wanted to give a sort of brief overview of sort of the value and the benefit uh, your team can see in Confluence. So if you're like Jessica and myself, the information you need to do your job is spread out all over the place. So you may have some information in Word docs, email, of course, Slack, PDFs, even post-it notes that you have uh, from different meetings. So it can make finding information difficult, especially if you're on a global team or a remote team. Um, and even if, even if you're not, uh, there's many ways of, of working in different teams who have a variety of knowledge spread across different locations and files. So what Confluence really does is bring all that information into one place and one platform across all of your teams. All that information is connected, uh, interconnected so that it's easily found and not locked in folders or apps uh, across your devices. So it's really a central hub where you can organize your work, collaborate together, and get your work done. Uh, one important thing to note is that Confluence is a Swiss army knife. So there's a lot of different use cases, as Jessica mentioned. Um, some, pe some teams use it for knowledge management, some people use it for project collaboration, and even just to get sort of employees engaged in the company culture. Um, and then a lot of companies use it for all three. So I wouldn't think of, uh, you know, Confluence, there's one way to use it, but there's uh, many different ways. And today we're going to really go over the tips we have for making the most out of using Confluence. Okay, let's dive right in. So first I'll start you with Home. Uh, home is a new feature and the first page you'll see when you start Confluence. So Home helps you easily find where you left off. Um, all of your recent pages that you visited, worked on, starred, or drafted. I really like Home because it lets me jump into the work that I've recently been working on in, in Confluence. Um, Home also shows you an activity feed on the right side of what's happening across your team or in your company. You can also filter for what's popular on your site based on likes and comments. Over time, we'll make this more relevant for you with more signal and less noise so you can see what's important across your company. Everything in Confluence is organized in spaces, which can also be found uh, in Home. So spaces are a collection of related pages and an easy way to organize your Confluence site. And then pages are the docs that your team will actually use to create, edit, and discuss, or plan, and get your work done. So I also want to show you just the new navigation that we have for Confluence. Um, this new top navigation in Confluence, you can get to all the information across your site really easily from any page that you're on in Confluence. You can see all the recent work, drafts, starred pages, and blogs. You can also see any of the spaces that you've recently visited or starred. The People tab is also where you can find a site directory of all the users that are on Confluence. Um, you can start a team by going to the start a team button and this will spin up a team profile page and allow you to mention your entire team. And of course you can also create pages from the navigation too. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about team spaces. So let's walk through an example of a team space. So we recommend in Confluence that you have a space for every team or sort of big project across your organization. So like I mentioned, it helps you, spaces help you organize all the, the pages that are related to that team. So this is a marketing example of a homepage of a team. We've named all of the team members, we've shared our mission and our goals, um, and also the, the blogs that are relevant to this team. Let's take a look at the page tree. This is something that's unique to Confluence and really helps you organize um, all the pages that you have in Confluence. You can drag and drop pages in the page tree, which is also a pretty new feature of Confluence. This will help you or keep your pages organized and show uh, sort of the hierarchy of how pages fit. This is another way you can actually create pages in context. So if you hover over a page in the page tree, you can press the plus button. And that's a way to actually create a page exactly where you need it to live in Confluence in the page tree. 
So now I want to show you um, another type of space, which are personal spaces in Confluence. So Jessica is looking at her personal space. She hasn't created one yet, but this is where she would actually go to create it. A personal space is a great place to keep all of your pages that you might not want to share with your team just yet, or stuff that is only for you to, to view like a career document or projects that you're working on. We can take a look at my uh, personal space to show you an example. I've shared sort of a few things about me that people can come and navigate to, any blogs that I've written, anything that I've recently updated will also be shown um, on this space. And then lastly, uh, I want to take you through the last part of the navigation, which is search. You can find recent work by using the recent tab in the navigation, as I mentioned before. You can also use this sh keyboard shortcut GR to open this window and find recently visited pages or drafts. Use the slash to open up the regular search in the top right. Um, and then for those of you who want even more powerful search, you can use uh, granular filters. Just tap the search bar and go to where it says advanced search. This will allow you to narrow down your search by contributor, content type, last modified date, label, or even search for page titles.